Okay, so personally being interested in everything that's going on around Apex, I have to keep a track of this new Apex Mobile China game, High Energy Heroes, and I actually found the website, which gives you a little bit more info, and we can see what all of the legends are actually called, and who they're a blatant ripoff for. So it looks like the game's going live in China towards the end of 2023, and people can register their interest, and when they hit a certain goal, then you'll get rewards in the game. Anyway, they also show us all of the legends, that they're adding to the game and I thought as Apex players it'll be fun to take a look at all of them and match who they are from the main game so let's not waste any time. First up we have Angela which is obviously at Lifeline. It says she's a researcher at Darwin Biotech so Hammond Labs and she can use drones to heal teammates and call in support bots. She's kind, just and compassionate and there you go you can see that's basically the doc drone and yeah this is Lifeline 100%. Then we have Wraith, I mean Sharp Shadow. She uses time and space rifts to move quickly and create portals. Sound like anyone you know? Then we have the Knight, which is Bloodhound. He can transform people perceive the specific position of the enemy and tear off the shackles and greatly enhance the ability to move paranoia and madness so he seems uh, a little bit crazier than bloodhound kind of looks like a vampire then we have finny who seems to be uh, trying to appeal to a certain audience and this is one for one valkyrie she has a jetpack that lets her hover she has her missile swarm and she has her ultimate that sends her high in the sky then we have Vader, which I think you can probably guess this is Crypto. He even has the metal ear. Like, come on. They didn't even try and hide the fact that these legends are the Apex characters. Anyway, he's a commercial spy of the Fire Thief Corps, manipulating drones to detect enemies and conduct electromagnetic interference. He's indifferent and lonely and defensive. Okay, pretty cool. Then we have Rayman, an A-level commissioner of Evernight Island. With lightning-like action speed and super self-healing ability, I wonder who that is. Well, if Octane had his legs, then, well, that's this guy. We also have Mayfair, which is Watson. She can create an electromagnetic force field that can resist all damage. Maybe this is even better than Watson, though. If they can resist all damage, maybe even bullets can't get through her ult. That sounds pretty cool, actually. Maybe we need that Watson buff in the game. And then we have this guy, who you may think is Seer. I thought this was Seer at first, but it's actually Revenant. So it seems like they didn't feel like adding simulacrums to their game, but this is Revenant nonetheless. He's the master of Eastern Corona City who uses quantum fragments to entangle the enemy, aka stop them using their abilities. And then that brings us back to Angela. So there's more of a look at the legends in High Energy Heroes. What do you think of it? Honestly, it looks like a fun game because it is just Apex Mobile 2.0. But like I say, it'll be interesting to see if the game survives. But I can definitely see See this having a huge player base in China and it does look fun but at the end of the day that is because it's Apex Legends. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the characters and which one's your favourite? And would you change some of the Apex characters to be more like any of these characters? Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one and subscribe.